Hello, thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm Ghost Prime, and thank you for stopping by and checking out the Generation 1 Retro Reissue 40th Anniversary Soundwave with me. Uh, he is Soundwave done up in his cartoon colors. That's the first reissue of its kind. This has never been done before with this character. He has been reissued a lot of times. I think the first reissue was probably 2001 or 2002 with the book style reissues. And after that, there's been Toys R Us reissues, there's been Walmart reissues, and generally it's all the regular version of him. I think one of them had the double chest door like Sound Blaster did, but we've never got one in cartoon colors. There has been a ton of discussions online about the quality of this. No, it does not have chrome, but it fits in with the other, the Transformers the Movie retro line from Walmart. That's why it doesn't have chrome. It actually fits in with those. It doesn't have stickers either. It's all paint. So they really tried to mimic his on-screen appearance with this. I'm going to compare this with the original 1984 version. I don't have the Walmart version that was reissued recently, mainly because I have three uh, 80s sound waves. I just don't feel like I needed another reissue. Please get comfortable. Hit that like button. Hit the downvote button if you have to. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And without any further ado, let's get to the review. Here he is before I open him up in the package. Now the package is very retro sort of looking. It, uh, you see Soundwave right here in the cartoon colors. And you can see there's Laserbeak and Ravage. Laserbeak is right there. Now, of course this is Laserbeak instead of Buzzsaw because out of reasons. Um, uh, Laserbeak is probably featured more in the cartoon. And then there's Ravage down there. They kind of put them all together. Here it says Decepticon, Communicator, Soundwave, Laserbeak and Ravage. Got the 40 years of Transformers steps at the top, just like the vintage originals. Now, Walmart shipped this in like a, a bag and it got bent here. And that's annoying um, to say the least. I wish Walmart took more care and put this in a box. It is a little bent and warped. It's not like bent, bent, but you can see it right there too. And on the back, you have the, the classic fight scene and you have three tech specs right here, which see if I can get this in focus. You could pa pa pause and read this. I think it's really interesting that they turned them to try to fit this. Uh, that's that's funny. Uh, looks like he's climbing up the walls. Anyway, there he is on the side. Same thing. Um, not really much on the bottom. Well, there is a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's get this guy opened up and uh, check it out. All right, getting the package opened up and everything, mostly everything out. You can see he comes with. An instruction manual, which is nice and clear. It's easy. I mean, it's sound wave. Comes with his blaster for his hand right there. I can extend. And the shoulder, which is nice. And both of them have a red stripe painted on the outside. The missiles are painted on the inside. The little, those are really cool. He does have laser beak here. And this is paint. These are stickers. Uh, it's, it's weird because this is all sticker also and not paint. Um, which is okay. I kind of wish it would be paint, but it's okay. It's cool. Uh, the stickers don't look too bad. They're not those really thin stickers. Maybe these ones are, but they don't seem too bad. The Ravage here is Deco Doll paint. I, I also should be saying these are metal, by the way. This is metal, just painted die cast. So, but it still is die cast. I love how they put the Decepticon logo there. Red eyes. And then the other side, he has a little square painted. Uh, the uh, weapons here are in silver. Uh, they are bolded in black for each one of them. And you get, of course, Soundwave. Uh, with this is a, like a translucent blue, light blue, which looks nice. Hides the Decepticon logo a little bit, but they kind of look like that in the cartoon where they didn't have any outlines or anything. Um, I like that there's paint in the middle of this. Uh, this is the sa exact same mold as the one that was previously released. He does come with three of these missiles and they are in here and they don't fire i'm just not gonna take the whole thing out i'm just gonna take this out of here now that can go right into his gun here i'm just gonna push that button down there no rings but it holds in nice and tightly and you see it's not chrome now if you want these chrome there's a volatile pen you could buy to chrome them up yourself Do it, yourself! it makes sense to uh not have this one chrome because all the rest for the the movie ones aren't chrome, so it really fits within that line. Now let's get a look at the tapes he comes with first. Ravage. And Ravage is nice. Uh, it's painted here and here, which is really good. There's no 
paint on this side, just black. It just has the gray square. You can see his eyes present. He transforms really simple. Tail, head, legs. And the joints on it are real tight, real nice. Um, I do appreciate that these are painted. I think he looks good. He looks he looks a lot like he does in the cartoon. Like I said before, these here are painted silver, and they just pop in just like that, like they do on every other Ravage. Yeah, I think Ravage looks really, really good. I really, really dig it. I think the colors are really nice on it. Uh, let's compare them with the original. There, these two are side by side. You see the chrome on the original. And then, of course, the tape on that side. So it doesn't have any of that detail, but he didn't have it in the cartoon because it would have been too much to animate. So there they are side by side. Next, we'll take a look at Laserbeak here. And these are stickers, which I wish they were paint. I really wish they were paint because um, stickers tend to peel, but... They are thin, you could tell. So that is a shame. I wish they had the paint budget. This side are stickers also. These probably have a little less chance of peeling since they're in the wings. Um, transformation is exactly the same as any of the other ones. Pull out the wings. Flip down the legs. Extend the wings a little bit more. Pull out the head. Which does reveal some paint there for the eye. Now they are up higher than the originals, which I will get to in a minute. These, again, not chrome. But the chrome sticker on the back does actually lend a little bit of shininess to it, which is nice. Um, so I don't think it looks too bad. It does have the neutered blasters there on the side. As you can tell on the original, they are long, much longer. They started doing this the neutered ones, I think with the last Walmart reissue, they were very small. Uh, the ones before that are like this one. Uh, they are much longer. But we can see the differences there. Um, in the cartoon, it looked like this, mainly because it was kind of similar to this version, the vintage version, and just kind of a simplified way to do it. There they are on the bottom. And... So if you get close to that eye, see where the eye is down lower on this one? It's just completely different shape. So I like that. I think that looks that looks pretty good. Get on Soundwave here. So he looks really good. I think he looks really, really nice. The colors on it make it look a lot like the cartoon one. It looks almost perfect to that cartoon model. Um, I, I dig it. I think he's got some good paint. This painted here. Uh, painted in between the buttons. Now, I, I've seen some complaints that, oh, they don't have the stickers here. They don't have, that doesn't say record and battery and all that. It doesn't need to. It wasn't on the cartoon. That That's the missing the whole point of this. The, the point of this is the cartoon. The car, cartoon were pretty plain colors. But I like what they did here with the yellow around the, the tape deck and the two little stripes here. Even the Decepticon logo looks good. The tape deck is that nice, like, blue color that they had in the cartoon, even though it does show up super well so against the back but it is a light blue and let's go ahead and stick ravage in there i think that looks pretty good door opens nice because it does have that redesigned door with the large buttons like it did i believe the first one they had this was sound blaster but it had a much larger tape door and then they redesigned it when they re did sound wave but this is so that the hinge insides don't break because the original had the hinge inside. And when they made the bigger tape deck door for to fit two tapes in there, they did that. That was in the 80s with Sound Blaster. So this isn't something new. It, it is different. It's not something cheaper. This is what they did in the 80s. The, this does still move. Moves up and down. And yeah, I, th I think he looks really good. For comparison, there he is with the original 1984 version of Soundwave in cassette form or cassette deck form so you can see what i'm talking about about the this battery micro cassette recorder record bat record stop it's it just not there but it, actually it doesn't need to be all the other otherwise all the details there you know it looks pretty much the same i will say that um this has a little divot here where this doesn't maybe even somewhere on here it's not as flat but and I'm not sure about the last Walmart reissue. I don't have that one. 
Uh, you, you can see there, so you can see how the color differs. This is a much lighter blue. You can see how those guys compare there. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to robot mode. If you want to see transformation, go ahead and check out my Soundwave, my vintage Soundwave review where I do transformation on them. All right, here's Soundwave transformed without any weapons. So you can see how the deco looks on him. And let's zoom in on that face. All right, here is the head for him. Now, as you can see, it is painted kind of all the way up with that silver and then red visor. Red visor looks nice. It does kind of look weird painted all like that. Um, I'm so used to seeing the gap in between the eyes and, 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 you know, and the cowl there. Like, I really am used to seeing that, but that's, you know, on the cartoon, it was, it was sort of that way. It was much larger, so I understand why they did that. They also did this on Sound Blaster, the, re, the Encore one, I believe. So it's not the first time that they've done sort of a silver face like that all the way up. So moving out, you see there's no detail on the shoulders. And to me, that kind of looks plain. Plastic, while the plastic, it looks okay. It feels softer in a way. It, like if it's, it's solid, but it feels softer. And one thing I do want to talk about is, is uh, like tension strength with plastics. You know, there's, just because it feels that way doesn't necessarily mean it's worse. I mean, we've had G1s, like I'm thinking Onslaught, where he, the plastic is brittle and just breaks. So it might not be worse. It might have actual more strength to bend instead of break. Um, I don't know. I'm not a plastics expert, but you know, going down here, see the knees, the silver here, you got the vents painted on there, Tampa graft. The feet are completely painted. This part does still open to reveal the copyright. Now, this was made in Vietnam. It does have the 74 and 83 copyright. The original one was made in uh, Japan. Uh, later reissues were made in China. So we need to arm him up. Go ahead and pull that out. Stick that in there. Missile does not fire. I think I put that over that earlier. But here's the original. Open that. Take the original chromed missile. Put that in there. And... Also, does not fire for the 1984 version. So here we have the two next to each other. I do like the chrome missiles maybe a little better. I do like the chrome. And that does fit in his hand right here. And he ha we have the shoulder-mounted missiles I went over earlier versus the original. So no paint there. This, I don't know if this is loose. Yeah, this is loose on the back. That's kind of a bummer. You can't do that with this one. This is glued together. But it's okay. You just put that on the shoulder. And we have Soundwave all armed up. Now, let's take a look at his cartoon model right here so you can see just how it looks against the cartoon model. And I think they did a pretty good job. There he is with the original 1984 Soundwave. So you can see a bunch of differences. Of course, all the stickers, there's silver paint. Uh, the silver on the arms is much brighter and different. But, you know, the cartoon model is much lighter, so I get why they did this. It does still contain the same amount of die cast. So I don't, you know, I don't see too much problem with this one. It fits into the light. One thing I can say, though, is something about these old ones. It's very nostalgic, and it looks good. It looks almost premium, where you look something like this. Might look a little KO-like, but... The cartoon was like that, and that was for ease of animation. Otherwise, quality, I don't think it's that bad. I think the joints are pretty good on it. They're solid. I don't feel like they're going to break. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice. It stands up good. You know, I mean, original's a little wobbly to where he's not, so I think they fixed that. I think those things are good. There is a lot of good about this. Now, I don't have the Walmart, like I said, but I do happen to have the... J. Balventron, which was made right around the time the Walmart reissue appeared. So, barring the color, this is, you know, probably what the Walmart reissue looked like. And it's it's the same. It's the same mold. It's the same type of plastic. It's the same everything. So, if you have the Walmart reissue, I'm guessing it's probably the same. So, to conclude, 
I recommend this. I think it's really good. But me, I love Generation 1 recolors. If you already have a Soundwave, it might feel a little cheaper to you if you're not collecting the retro style G1s that they are reissuing now. If this goes on sale like the rest of them, I will be picking up another one so I can chrome some of the, the buttons and the weapons uh, up just a little bit like I did with Hound because I, I, I really like the chrome. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and let me know what you think about this guy in the comments and I'll talk to you next time.